The U.S. Department of Justice says it will pursue what they call unfinished aspects of the case against Michael Miski. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and follows up. Miski was found dead at the Federal Detention Center Sunday, just weeks before his sentencing, after one of Hawaii's biggest criminal trials. In the wake of Michael Miski's death in custody, U.S. Attorney Claire Connors said justice was served in the process, but aspects of this case remain unfinished. In particular, we are committed to pursuing recovery of the assets found forfeitable by a federal criminal jury. Legal experts explain that's complicated and could take one of two likely paths. In front of the criminal judge without a defendant there in order to prove or basically asking the court to enforce the jury's finding that these assets were purchased with illegal money. The second avenue would depend if an estate is opened in Miski's name. So in state probate court, a family member would have to open a probate estate. And if that's the case, then the federal government can bring a, an action against the estate in federal court, a civil action, to forfeit those assets. Miski's only son, Caleb, is deceased, but Miski was a grandfather. And that grandchild could inherit anything that was determined not forfeitable. Questions linger about more than just money. Just given my experience with the police department and the federal government, it's likely that even though they're family members, not a not a lot of information is being passed to them at this point. The Department of Justice said today, presently there is no finding of foul play or suicide, and that the county medical examiner is continuing to examine the cause of death, which examination remains ongoing. Miski was only 50 years old, and he appeared healthy and fit at trial. I have not heard of any type of illness, but I will say, like, uh, Personally, it does shock me that there has been a death because I believe Miski was intent on bringing his appeal. Cow explains what the local ME can and cannot analyze here versus what they have to send off island for. Let's say, for example, the cause of death was a crystal methamphetamine heart attack or a hanging or a stabbing. The medical, exam the medical examiner's office would already know that. Right now, the toxicology test is testing for medications or drugs that the Emmy's office is unable to test for. We reached out to the family and Miski's attorney for comment and what steps they're contemplating in light of what the feds said that prosecutors will still pursue. As for the family of missing man Jonathan Frazier, whose murder Miski was found guilty of participating in, Kao does not expect further court proceedings to reveal anything new. The fact that 12 people found him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of conspiracy to commit murder, I hope that gives them closure so that they can move on and heal. Because at this point, I really don't expect any other information to be disclosed. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.